let's see if I can do this one without screwing up. Hi there, this is day 16 and today's episode is brought to you by the letter C, which of course is the speed of light, 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second or 300,000 kilometers per second. Uh, and of course what we really want to do right now is take a look at the solution to question number 6 from the conservation of energy assignment. And question number six says, generally speaking, performing work has what effect on energy? So if you look at this equation, which we've used quite a bit, work is equal to change in kinetic energy. You might think that when you do work on something, you take kinetic energy and you increase it out of nothing. Or conversely, you might take kinetic energy and you decrease it into nothingness. Now, of course, the law of conservation of energy says that is absolutely impossible. Kinetic energy can't just magically disappear into nothingness or magically be created out of nothingness. Uh, it can only change into some other type of energy. So let's take a look at a few different situations. Here's one situation. Suppose I drop this ball. Now, when I drop the ball, gravity is doing work on the ball and it's changing the ball's gravitational potential energy to kinetic energy as it falls. Here's another situation. What happens when this book slides along the table? Well, as the book is sliding along the table, friction is doing work on it. It's changing the book's kinetic energy to heat energy. Uh, another situation. This is my personal favorite. Okay? Uh, what happens when I throw a ball across the room? Ooh, second time. Okay. Uh, Obviously, nothing, nothing good, uh, except that maybe you learn that you shouldn't throw balls indoors. But as far as uh, work is concerned, okay, when I do work on that ball, I'm changing chemical energy inside my body into the kinetic energy of the ball. Uh, and of course, when you do work on something, you're not necessarily just going to change its kinetic energy. Okay. If I lift up this book, well, again, I'm taking uh, chemical energy inside my body and I'm changing it into the book's gravitational potential energy. Okay? Uh, I do work on the book and that energy change takes place. Or think about when you're driving a car uh, up a hill. Okay? Uh, well, the car is doing work. It's basically taking chemical energy in the gas tank and changing it to kinetic energy of the car and also gravitational potential energy of the car. Uh, so overall, I, I think you can see that when you do work on something, okay, you are transforming one energy into another. That is what happening, pardon me, that is what is happening when you do work. You are changing one type of energy into another type of energy. Uh, Question number six is all dealt with. Uh, we'll next do questions four and five, uh, but I won't do them uh, on video here. They'll get posted uh, on Google Classroom. Bye for now.